bill introduced at the Indiana General Assembly would all but eliminate the death penalty in the state. It would take at least one southern Indiana man off of death row. Eyewitness News Noah Latza has a closer look at the bill and reaction from local law enforcement. The time that it takes to put a person to death, in my opinion, sometimes isn't worth the trouble. Vanderburg County Sheriff Dave Wedding weighs in after legislation was introduced that could change Indiana's death penalty. In my 40 years of law enforcement, I have seen several capital crimes where the perpetrator has sat on death row for nearly 20 years before they're executed. It's troublesome to the family. I think a life in prison without parole would satisfy me as a law enforcement officer. The current law, anyone can be sentenced to death only for murder and if the state proves one of 18 aggravated circumstances occurred during the murder, including rape or kidnapping, Senate Bill 252 would get rid of the death penalty with the exception of a few cases, including if the person commits murder against more than one victim or if the victim is a public safety officer. It's something Sheriff Wedding says won't make much of a difference. I think it will protect law enforcement a little more. I, I'm not sure that it will stop the crime it might satisfy the law enforcement's family members uh, as the ultimate payment for such a heinous crime. The bill is also retroactive. That means anyone on death row whose crimes do not fit the new criteria would have their sentences changed to life in prison. That would include one Spencer County man. Roy Lee Ward is on death row for the 2001 murder of Stacy Payne. But since his crime only involved one person, he would no longer be eligible for the death penalty. Sheriff Wedding says he's neutral, but feels the cons of the death penalty outweigh the pros. In Vanderbilt County, Noah Alatza, Eyewitness News. The Senate bill passed out of committee and an eight to nothing vote will watch for developments.